Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My dear friends, you are welcome to this Sunday evening prayer. We're going to start with the praise and worship. We all might have some kind of burdens in our life, one way or other way, but the answer is Jesus. The problems may be different. Some of us will be with the financial problems. Some of them, some of us will be the healings that we need. Some of us may, may need a deliverance from our addictions. Some of us are struggling in uh, uh, getting into a new job or job area. But the problems are different for every human being. But the answer is only one person and his name is Jesus. So we will listen more about that later. But before that, we're going to worship our Lord. Christy is going to help us in praise and worship. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, dear brothers and sisters, as we begin this time of praise and worship, let's reflect on some Bible verses. So, from Psalms chapter 18, verses 17 to 18, we read, He delivered me from my strong enemy and from those who hated me, for they were too mighty for me. They confronted me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my support. And again, in Psalms chapter 37, verse 24, we read, Though we stumble, we shall not fall headlong, for the Lord holds us by the hand. And dear brothers and sisters, when we're going through times of trouble and adversity in our lives, we tend to forget that our God is with us all that way, holding our hand through it. We tend to feel so alone and so isolated, forgetting that our God is by our side through all our trials and sufferings. So let's sing this song together, proclaiming God as our strength and our shield through every difficult moment in our life. As the deep pants for the water, so my soul longs after you. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you as the deer as the deer pants for the water so my soul longs after you you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you you're my friend and you are my father even though you are my king i love you more than any other so much more than anything let's sing you're my friend you're my friend and you are my father even though you are my king i love you more than any other so much more than anything you alone you strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and i long to worship you you're more precious than gold or silver, only you can satisfy. You alone are my 
my real joy giver and the apple of my eye. You're more precious. You're more precious than gold or silver. Only you can satisfy. You real joy giver and the apple of my eye. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Let's say, take some time together to praise the Lord, to call upon his mighty name in all our sufferings, all our trials, all our, all our joys and all our sorrows. Let's surrender all these to the Lord as we praise Thank and worship Jesus. the Lord. Hallelujah, Thank hallelujah. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you, Lord. We praise you, we Lord. Worship we praise you, Lord. We, we thank, thank you, Lord. Jesus, we Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Lord. Oh, Jesus. You are my Lord. You are my thank God. You, Jesus, we love you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. We love you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We adore you, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You are my Lord. You are my Lord. Amen. 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 My dear, friends, yes. my dear friends, when Christine was praying, Holy Spirit was revealing me to continue this kind of worship in your personal life. We might be doing the praise and worship during a prayer meeting or something like that, but when it becomes our daily life, we could experience the love of Christ in our life. So I'm going to continue the, I'm going to request you to continue this praise and worship in your life. Uh, a life wherever you are according to your situations please continue to praise and worship now i'm going to pray for some healings and we will sing one more song after this lord jesus we are praying for a more healings in your presence lord especially emotional healings we are requesting for we're struggling a lot in 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 these days lord we are hearing about a lot lot of stuff these days so we need some emotional memory healings lord and I'm praying for those who are in need of some emotional memory healing. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, I'm praying for anyone who has struggled in these days. I'm praying for the mighty healings now, Lord. Touch and heal your people. Lord is delivering a family who had a, some kind of accident happened and a disturbance in their mind. The Lord is delivering that family from such situation. In Jesus' name, we pray. One family is worried about somebody who is uh, far away from the house, uh, living somewhere far away, far away in another country or another state or uh, far away from the people, the family. And they are worried about their situations. And, and Lord is comforting that person. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us sing a, a song once again, a chorus once again, and let us come back to the healing prayer again. You alone are my strength, my shield. To you alone may my spirit yield. You alone are my heart's desire and I long to worship you. Lord is healing a person who has uh, some kind of arthritic pain, but it is not a fully arthritis, but especially the bones are uh, getting some kind of stiffness and pain. And the doctor confirmed that person that is uh, some kind of arthritis pains and issues are happening. And we're going to pray for a delay in that, right? The process on the starting and the, the severity to come down. In Jesus' name we pray, Lord. Heal your people right now. In Jesus' name we pray. 
in the mighty name of jesus we pray in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray a grandparent one uh, grandchild is praying for a grandparent lord is comforting that that lady um, that grandma lord is comforting and healing that person now in jesus name we pray yes. by the power and merits of jesus we pray yes. in jesus name we pray in jesus name we trust in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray let us sing once once again that chorus your precious lord we are we are in the presence of you lord you are my strength my shield to you One person who has uh, some kind of uh, um, uh, piles or a, a toileting problem, Lord is healing that person. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus, we trust. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Now I'm going. We're going to finally going to sing that chorus once again. After that, we will enter into the Word of God session. So this time, I request you to close your eyes, put the hands on your chest, and believe the presence of Christ. in your mind your body and soul sing that chorus two times please you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart desire and i long to worship you you alone are my strength my shield to you alone may my spirit yield you alone are my heart's desire and i long to Amen. Amen. Open your eyes. So today's word of God, I took it from Malachi, chapter four, verse two. Look on the screen. You can see, for you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness shall rise. Dear hey friends, we should understand. We might be going through a tough time in our life. maybe internally or emotionally or spiritually sometimes physically healings and deliverance that we need <clears throat> as i told you in the beginning the problems may be different but the answer is only one person and his name is jesus so for who you fear my name god's name or those who are god fearing god fearing means they expecting they are experiencing the love of christ that's the god fearing is not the fear of anything okay is not the fear of uh, normal human beings fear means we fear of something we fear of death we fear of going somewhere we fear of darkness no not that i am talking about god fearing is means uh, one way or other way is god's love understanding of god's love and i am on the way to keep my a uh, love too close to christ that's god fearing so those who fear my name the son of righteousness shall rise so this is actually speaking to the people in the old testament right malachi is the book or the last book in the old testament and malachi is concluding this way that um uh, if for you who fear the name of the righteousness shall rise and then the promise of the john the baptist will come uh, before jesus that too and after that the the old testament is closing right that's the last book of old testament and it is closing in that way so this is actually the hope that anyone in anywhere in any darkness in their life any kind of disturbance in their life any kind of troubles in their life they cannot move they cannot come out of it or they don't want to come out of their addictions or they are not been ready to come out and see and then the scripture is saying keep on the god fearing your son 
your daughter, your husband, your wife, for them, a righteousness, the son of righteousness shall raise in their life. And with the healing in its wings, healings and deliverance are usually will happen along with him. When he come into the family, when he enter into the life, the healings and deliverance will happen. So we don't have to focus on it, but we have to focus on the son of righteousness and his name is Jesus. You shall go forth leaping like a calves from the stall. So how is it means? Which means they were bound up in the in the uh, in the stall. So they were actually bound up. They don't want it. They cannot go out. But when they open, they are so happy. They jump up and are making so much joyful noise. So dear friends, exactly like when we come before the word of God and when we come before the praise and worship, we should be like this. We should be jump up, dance and praise and worship. And then you will understand that I am expecting a savior for me. Yes, a savior has been born for you and me. That was uh, proclaimed to the shepherds who were looking after the sheep on that night, the, the, the Christmas night, the night which Jesus was born. A savior of the world has been uh, born for you and me. A savior has been born. So in Matthew 4, it continues like this. The people who sat in the darkness have seen a great light. So this is doesn't this is not just a star appear on the uh, on the uh, manger. No, it's not that. It's not just that. But it is actually anyone who are in darkness, anyone who are keeping the darkness or falling in the darkness or cannot be come out of the darkness in their life, or anyone who is uh, not being able to stand up and come to the light. For them, this rising sun, this righteous sun is happy to, to shine in their life. So the people who sat in the darkness now have seen a great light in their life. And those who sat in the region of the shadow of death, which means because of the addictions and sins, always thinking about uh, you know, termination of life or uh, thinking about uh, you know, terminating somebody else's life or killing themselves or killing somebody else. So this kind of the, 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 the region of the shadow of death or thinking that nobody is with me, I am alone and I have loneliness. So anyone in that area of life, then the people who sat in the darkness have seen a great light. And for those who sat in the region of the shadow of death, the light has dawned. Dear friends, we have to look on that light and his name is Jesus. From that time, Jesus began to preach and saying, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So this is also easy. He was saying only one thing, only so simple thing, come to me, but the, with the repentance. Come to me and throw away your sins and come back to me. Not keeping your sins on one hand, not keeping your uh, bad habits on one hand, try to throw it away. And the rest of the thing, he will help you. You just try to throw it away. He will help you. Don't worry about 10 times you're falling down. Don't worry about five times you're falling down, but he will be there to help you and me. Are you able to stand up and follow his words? So his, his word is so clear. It is clearly speaking to us, repent for the kingdom of heaven. Repent for the kingdom of heaven. Does it matter what race you are? Does it matter what language you speak? Does it matter what you eat? Does it matter what you wear? Does it matter where you're born? Does it matter where you brought up? Does it matter how your education is? Does it matter your background? He's only looking one thing. Do you have repentance? Do you have a God-fearing nature inside your heart? Father is looking for the God-fearing nature. Son is looking for the repentance of the people. So dear friends, when anyone showing any of these, they are in the track towards Christ. So the people who sat in the darkness has a light and anyone in the shadow of death has a light for them. In Romans 3 continues like this, but now the righteousness of God has been manifested apart from law. Yes, it is righteousness is manifested apart from law. So sometimes we may think, okay, I'm practicing the law, the, the Ten Commandments of God uh, and uh, I, I, I will reach in heaven. But this is, this is completely different. We have to obey those commandments, but more than that, the spirit within us is 
empowering us to keep that always. The law always saying the minimum thing. The, the, just the minimum thing only law can say. But the love can say it in the fulfilled way, the filled way only love can say. So the righteousness of God through the faith in Jesus Christ for all who believe, <clears throat> all who believe, doesn't matter whether he is a Gentile or a Jew, doesn't matter whether he is a Christian or a non-Christian, doesn't matter whether he is a Catholic or a non-Catholic, doesn't matter what designation he is, doesn't matter anything about that. Anyone, anyone is ready to change and come back to Christ, they will see this light. And that light will lead you to the fullness of truth in the church. Dear friends, so start, start towards the, the light, the walk with the light, and he will lead you in the fullness of the truth in the church. So let us start this journey. Let us uh, you know, examine our life, which area I am going through in, in trouble. And uh, uh, we all are sinners, don't worry about it. We all had some sins. Since all we have sinned and are far short of the glory of God, they are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption which, which is in Jesus Christ. So we should not be, there is no um, difference between anyone in the uh, in his mystical body church because everyone is a sinner. Everyone did a sin, so but because of the repentance, they are actually coming in, entering into the kingdom of God. So that is the justification. That is the justification. The faith in Christ, it is free. So whom God put for, forward as an expiration by his blood, to be received by faith, faith in him. So first I told you about the God-fearing. Second I told you about the uh, repentance. Now I am talking to you about the faith, the faith that pour out in my life, pour out in your life to be a new creation through Christ was to show God's righteousness because his divine forbidance. He had passed over former sins and it was proved at the present time that he himself is righteousness and that he justifies him who has faith in Jesus. So the, so the next thing is actually the faith in Jesus. When I believe in him, when I'm following him, when I'm trying to be another Christ in my life, I am, my sins have been forgiven and I am turning, in, I'm turning as a Christ in my life. So dear friends, let's come to the point that we are the children of God. We are the children of God who receive the word of God in our life. And this word of God can heal us and deliver us. The faith that we received, the faith that we received is able to heal us and deliver us. So let's come to the, the next point uh, in the word of God this way, Colossians 1, 21 to 23 says like this. And you, once were estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, he has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you a holy, blameless and irreproachable before him. My dear friends, what is this is happening in our life? Once we were estranged and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, that's our past. And now, now reconciled in body of flesh means he took our sins on his body and his life he gave to us. So he took my death. On the day which he was betrayed, he took a piece of bread and said, this is my body. And anyone who drinks from this chalice and eat from this bread has eternal life and they will not die. So who will take my death then? So that's happened in, on that night. He exchanged. He gave his life to me and took my death on his body. Because I was a sinner, I have to die. The, 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 the wages of the sin is death and who will take? So someone who has able to live, someone who has, uh, was the, able to take, even take his own life whenever he wants. So the one who has life in him and life in abundance, only that person can go into the death and come back. So that person has to take my death. And that happened in this body and blood. 
So he took my death and he gave me his life. And I am alive. So now, reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present me and you holy and blameless and irreproachable before him. Yes. So we are holy, blameless and irreproachable before him provided that you continue in faith. You have to continue this faith. Keep on, in, keep on this faith that Lord Jesus Christ saved me and you. And the stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel which you heard. Dear friends, we have to hear this word of God again and again. And you know, these are not the new things I'm talking to you. These were the word of God since the beginning of the, 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 uh, the church. It is the same thing I'm talking to you. Uh, the same thing I'm talking to you. But on hearing this, you and me are enriched. Enriched. This is why provided to continue in faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel, which you are hearing now and heard, which you have been preached in every creature under heaven of which I, Paul, became the minister. So Paul was saying that, uh, that I preach this in, uh, in uh, Asia, Minor, uh, Rome and everywhere. So I'm the witness, I'm the minister for this. So the word of God is talking to us like this. The word of God is talking to us this way, that we have to empower, we have to encourage this faith in us. So my dear friends, where even if we are going in the darkness side of our life, even if we are in the depth, death valley, the Lord is there to deliver you and me. Close your eyes. Now I'm going to pray for any of your friends, family members or anyone who are going through the depressed problems or depression, anxiety, stress, or uh, suicidal tendency or anything, or darkness of their life. We're going for the, we are praying for a deliverance. Oh Lord Jesus, I'm praying for the addictions and uh, um, um, any substance or uh, alcoholic or drugs or anything, Lord, deliver them, Lord. Lord, I'm praying for any kind of depression, anxiety, stress, or uh, those kind of things that they are uh, struggling. In Jesus' name, I'm praying for anyone with that problem, Lord. Deliver them right now. You have the, you are the source. You have the healing, Lord. In your hands, in your wings, healing wings, Lord, heal them now. Deliver them now. I'm praying for each one of them. Lord Jesus, a rising sun, a righteous sun raised for them. And the people who are in the valley of death, in the darkness, hear this voice, repent and believe in gospel. Keep the faith in their life. We pray for the deliverance of the family members and the loved ones of these people. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to pray for all the prayer requests that you are typing in YouTube these days. Christy is going to sing a chorus on top of this uh, uh, prayer request for the power of Holy Spirit. Myself and Christy is going to pray for all these prayer requests that you are typing uh, in YouTube these days. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus. You're the living water, never drying fountain, comforter and counselor, take complete control. You're the living water. Never drying fountain, comforter and counselor, take complete control. Come, Holy Spirit, come on, dwell in us. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Come on, dwell in each one of us, Holy Spirit. Grant all these prayer because we are in, in your prayer. Lord Jesus, we're praying for all these prayer requests. Some of them are in their heart. We cannot write it down. Lord Jesus, grant it according to the will. In Jesus' name we trust. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus we pray. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Fill you... us with your power. Live inside of Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 My dear friends, that's the end of the Sunday evening prayer on this week. We will see you on next Sunday, the same place, the same time. Again, good night or good morning, wherever you are. Thank you.